knowing when to push forward and knowing when to pull back. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So when you are trying to progress in your career, progress in your business, you go through this phase of just pushing, 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 right? Learning, progressing, putting in the hours, putting in the effort, doing everything you can to move up, move up, move up, make more money, grow your business, move up in position to establish yourself, right? You push, push, push. And very rarely do you find yourself pulling back, right? Because you're always caught up in this moving forward momentum that you gain and you find it hard to slow down, right? You're pushing and pushing and pushing to find yourself in that position of authority, that thought leader, that business leader, that person that you've been striving for. And what really happens is people knowing when to pull back. You see, just like an elastic band, if you keep pulling an elastic band, right, if you keep pulling, if you keep stretching it, eventually it's going to break, right? And that is the point that most people hit in their life when they have pushed so hard to get to where they want that their body just falls apart, their health deteriorates, their relationships start breaking down and everything seems to fall apart in their life. And so when you understand and when you, when you understand and know when to push, but also when to pull back, you can stay in control forever. And this is so true with fitness too. Whenever you have a goal with fitness, you can't just push and push and push and, and push your body until eventually it breaks because when your body does break, it's going to be very hard to fix it. So in every aspect of life, business, fitness, health, relationships, we have to know when to push and when to pull. And so in the context of business, of your professional career, it's, it's knowing when to have a day off, have a break, right? Because the thing is, if you get caught up pushing and pushing and working and working, and you don't take any time for yourself, you will burn yourself out, you'll get stressed, and you will start to get health problems. But you see, this is where most people decide to take a break. They wait until there is a problem, till they're sick, till they need to go to the hospital, till they need to be laid off for mental health issues, right? But if you can prevent it, right, it's going to cost you less in the long run because you're not going to be taking time off work. You're not going to be a person that's going to be negative to be around and you'll be able to sustain a high level of performance for a longer period of time. You see, but the problem is, is we get so caught up with pushing that we think it's weak or that if we take a day off that we're giving up. But here's the thing, you need to reframe your brain about what pulling is and what resting actually means and using it to your advantage. Okay, so when you feel yourself getting to that point of stress, of anxiety, of illness, your body starts to give you signs, you start to get headaches, you start to feel sick, you start to work less productively, right? And your body starts, aching and you start getting illnesses and when you start seeing and hearing these things happening to you that is when you need to recognize the signs and say hey I need to slow down I need to pull back I need to take a day off and you need to give yourself permission to take that day off this is so important if you want to come back stronger come back more driven come back healthier and fitter you need to say listen it's okay to have a rest day. It's okay to not work today. You see, when you start listening to your body, your body will start to respond with the positive emotions, with fixing itself, with getting yourself out of that state of mind, that negativity, and then you'll be able to go twice as far forward. And so when you start to give yourself permission to rest, to take a break, you can start to connect and do the things that are actually important in life. Because at the end of the day, you work hard so you can create a lifestyle for yourself. And what's the point in working hard if you can't enjoy yourself? So, so what we wanna be doing is when you do take that opportunity to have a day off, go and enjoy yourself. Don't just give yourself permission to take a day off, give yourself permission to enjoy the day. Disconnect, like switch off social media, switch off your email, switch off work mode, 
and just connect with people that you care about, your family, your loved ones, your friends, and enjoy it. Give yourself permission to do that. And the same with fitness. You see, when people are trying to achieve a fitness goal, especially if you're somebody who is a high performer in their careers and their businesses, you push so hard to try and change your body because you think you can use the same brute force that you used to get yourself to where you are. You think it's just a matter of pushing and pushing and pushing. But you see, a body isn't like your business. Your body isn't like how you feel when you go to work. You can't push your body so far before it breaks. Your body starts like giving you signs a lot sooner. And what happens is if you're pushing your body, going from zero to hero, from no training to six days a week training, you will break something, you will hurt yourself, and then you'll have no choice but to rest and recover. So what we need to do with our fitness is also catch ourselves before we reach that point. Don't let that be, become a problem before you decide to do something about it. And give yourself permission again to take rest days, to regulate your training so that you can sustain this over a long period of time. Okay, you're not in this for the quick fix, you're in this for the long run, right? Just like you became successful in business with your professional lives, you want to have success with your health, you have to give it time, you have to be patient, and you have to create a regime that's going to work for you. Because if you are somebody who goes from nothing to everything, and you're hurting yourself, and you're making yourself sick, then you need to stop and realize that pushing harder doesn't get me closer to my goal. Using brute force doesn't get me there, so what do I need to do? I need to regulate and listen to my body. Regulate your rest days with your training days. Okay, so that does mean taking a few days off in the week. That does mean resting. That does mean giving yourself a break. That does mean giving yourself permission to stop and slow down and pace yourself because this fitness, this health journey is a marathon and not a sprint. Okay, you might have a holiday in a month. You might be getting ready for this wedding or this event in six weeks. But you have to remember, you can't think short term with something that is a long term solution. Because that short term fix will only get you there and feeling good for a moment in time. But you will very quickly fall back into your old habits or you will hurt yourself in the pursuit of desperation of trying to get somewhere quickly. So learn to give yourself permission to pull back in the pursuit of pushing. Learn to give yourself a break and be kind to yourself. Listen to your body and know when is too much. Know what your body wants, but also know how to nourish it, how to let it recuperate, how to work with your body rather than trying to work against our body. So everybody who's working intense long hours are working against their body. You're working against what your body wants to do. You're staying up late when your body's saying to go to sleep. You're getting up early when your body wants to rest. You're pushing your body through its limits. So you have to understand anything that you push too hard, just like that elastic band will eventually break. So know when to let that elastic band go so it can reduce, so you can calm yourself, so you can refocus yourself. And then you can push twice as hard. The same with fitness. If you are going to the gym two or three or four days a week, you're going to be able to sustain doing that for a lot longer than going seven days a week. All right, because you aren't going to be breaking yourself. You're going to be regulating the rest days, giving yourself enough time to recover so that you can come back stronger. So you have to learn how to put your ego to the side when you are pushing and striving for goals with your health, with your business, with your careers. You have to learn how to listen to your body and say, this is too much. Okay, I'm pushing too hard right now. I need to slow myself down. Otherwise, something is going to break. Because if you let your ego override you, if you let your ego decide how hard you're going to push, you will break yourself, you will get sick you will have to take time off work and it's going to cost you more in the long run. So, start listening to your body, taking time to pull back when it's necessary and push when you feel right. 